Walker. Mike, are you saying even even even, even, even even a Jewish guy like me will see Jesus? Okay. What's that? Even a Jewish guy see, like me. You're going to see miracles. You're going to okay. see miracles Please, unfold. Boy. David Pakman debated Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guys, sometimes called Mike Pillow. And in this section of the debate, they talked about the idea of divine intervention and Donald Trump. As you can imagine, this was pretty entertaining to see David Pakman debating this guy. We're going to take a look at clips from David Pakman's show. I will share my thoughts from time to time. Let's check this out together. I want to get to and maybe on the I know your time is short, so maybe we can keep these short. I am not a Christian, so I may not be in a position to understand this, but if Donald Trump was selected by God, as you are certain that he was, why would God allow Joe Biden to even become president and force you to go through all of this? Why not just put Trump in the White House again? Well, I believe I believe that that's uh, that's part of this divine divine thing that's going on because really people don't look. Let me tell you, people do not look for hope unless things are going bad. Huh. And this, that's why I believe this will be the greatest revival for Jesus. And we will be once again, one nation under God ever, because all these people, including yourself, are going to see miracles unfold here. Mike, are you saying even, 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 even a Jewish guy like me will see Jesus? Okay. What's that? Even a Jewish guy like me. You're going to see miracles. You're going to see miracles unfold. If you're going to see miracles unfold, you can believe whatever you want, but you're going to see things that you thought were impossible okay. happen. And you're saying, you asked me, why would God, why would God let this happen? Yeah. Well, if you don't, people don't look for, I'll, I'll give an example. Um, I was in a, you know, I was in about two years ago, I was with a guy and he said, and he goes, Mike, our nation has turned its back on God. People have turned its back on him. And he says, we would need, people aren't looking for God unless things bad happen. And he said, he goes, it's something like the Great Depression. I said, no, no. In the Great Depression, they had God. They were just praying for food and shelter. Mm. I said, we have something better than that. Mm. I said, we have addiction. I said, so this is when I set up my LindellRecoveryNetwork.org. I said, when you're in addiction, you're looking for hope. You're looking out there. You need, and it's about your soul. It's about salvation. You're praying, okay? But then along came the China virus, the pandemic, and then came this election. Everybody everybody is seeing what is going on now. I have Democrat friends of mine and liberal friends of mine. I talk to them, and they go, Wow. Wow. I can't believe this. Mike, you were right. This is a manifestation of socialism. I'm not blaming the Democrat Party. I'm saying that the China picked them and they used them. And you're going to see this at the symposium. I see. So you're going to see these. OK, I'm going to stop for a minute here in the middle of this word salad from Mike Lindell. But David Pakman has a really great point, And this is something I've always wondered when people say, OK, Donald Trump was chosen by God to be president. So we've had. You know, we're coming up on on the end of four years of Joe Biden. So what happened during that time? God was asleep. He was just taking a break. He was just like, ah, you know, I want Donald Trump to be president, but I'm going to give you guys this other guy for a while. So you'll really appreciate Donald Trump when he gets back in there. I mean, Mike Lindell says like he, he's more or less saying like you have to have the good with the bad so it's like i don't understand why god wouldn't just make things good all the time if donald trump is his pr- chosen chosen president and that's who god wants to be in there why not have donald trump i mean god forbid no pun intended make donald trump be president for life so we could just all experience greatness in the united states for as long as donald trump's alive why would God purposely want things to become bad? I guess other than the fact that once we see the bad in Joe Biden, then we'll appreciate Donald Trump more. It all makes no sense. It's kind of like I saw someone the other day uh, talking about that there was an angel to protect Donald Trump when the shooter shot him and hit him in the ear. Well, why would the angel allow him to get hit in the ear? Why would he not stop the, why would he, I don't know if the angel is here or not. Why would the angel not stop the bullet from hitting Donald Trump? Why would the angel not have the shooter's gun jam to where the bullet never even comes out? Or even better, have the, have the shooter get pulled over on the way to the rally and they find, you know, weapons and the police arrest him so he never even gets there to have the opportunity to shoot at donald trump it's just and somebody brought up the point 
why would the angel or God or whatever allow the man behind Donald Trump to, to be shot and get killed? The angel wouldn't have protected him, only Donald Trump. I mean, it's all such logic pretzels. But my pillow guy, Mike Lindell, I, I honestly feel a little bit sorry for this guy because there's some screw loose, screws loose with him. When people say, well, it's coming, straightening out our country, I'll give you an example too, David. Then when Jimmy Kimball said to me in his attack, he said, Mike, would you do it if it was reversed? I said, of course, this isn't about Donald Trump. I said, this is about saving our country with, with China and these machines. This is about saving not just our country, but the world. All these other countries are worried too. They got, we are in an age where it's cyber attacks. This yeah. is computers that can take your country. And I, and I said, and you know what happened after that? They came back, the Washington Post and all these outlets came to Minnesota and asked my friends and people from my past, come on, would Mike really be sounding the alarm if Donald Trump, had, if they'd have picked him, trying to pick him? Every one of them said, yes, David. Do you think they did a story on that? No. Wow. Every one of them, because you know what? This is about our country. This is about elections. I don't, it doesn't matter who won or lost it. It's it, when your vote didn't matter. And you're going to see that at the cyber symposium, Whoa. nobody's vote mattered during that. Nobody's vote mattered. They use the 2010 census report. That's why you have so many rural counties where double the people voted that even live in the county. And this was all, these are done on a so, total separate thing here with mathematics. Yeah. That, uh, that we could better prove this. Mike, there's this incredible image of you in the aftermath of the election, leaving the White House and a zoomed in picture sees you carrying a paper that says martial law on it. Who right. raised the topic of martial law in that meeting with Trump? Well, let me see. Now, if you had done your due diligence on that, David, I said I was bringing him the evidence I got on January 9th, this cyber evidence that I got brought to me on January 9th. OK, that was four pages. These other lawyers had given me two pages to give to him. I had never even read it. I didn't know what was on it. That got opened up. It never got talked about in the Oval Office. That's a very famous story there. I brought in the evidence. This is why I'm asking you. Yeah. Yeah, but he said, bring this upstairs. The lawyers brought me upstairs. Now the sheets were over. They gave me the sheets back, and I was outside the back end, and then they seen that martial law in there. Uh, it was never brought up in the Oval Office. It was, okay. in, and he didn't. And the sheets were given back, and I brought upstairs to his attorneys, which shooed me out of the White House. Okay, that's why I'm asking to get the right, story right. straight from you. Two other but, real, but, yeah. You know what? Yes. But that was so important. You know why? Yeah. Because for no, no media would talk to Mike Lindell. So from that point on, every single day I was attacked. I got to stop again just to say, I love the look on. David Pakman's face and the look in his eyes where he's just thinking like, you you know that he could just annihilate this guy, but but he's also thinking, I'm dealing with somebody who is mentally impaired, and this would be cruel for me to just just to, you know, absolutely decimate this guy. And so you you can see David Pakman, I feel, really holding back with Mike Lindell because the guy is just he's totally nuts. I don't think there's any other way to look at it. And think about the fact that types of people that Donald Trump surrounded himself with, you know, the president of the United States could have the greatest experts in the United States and probably in the world at his or her disposal. But instead, Donald Trump picks guys like Mike Pillow. And this is what we could be looking at if Donald Trump gets reelected. There aren't going to be any Rex Tillersons. I mean, I think Rex Tillerson is a bad guy, but there's not going to be anybody like Rex Tillerson who is a sane person within a second Donald Trump administration. It's all going to be kooks like Mike Lindell. By bots and trolls, my retailers are gone. On my shopping channels, they attacked Mike Lindell, my pillow. Dominion sued over 200 people and, yep. or, and used lawfare in our country to where last week I just had to dump Fox. Shame on Fox News. I've had to use all the left wing media. Every day they have my direct number. I get calls from morning to night. But okay. you know what? They bash me and they attack me. But at least I get to talk about the truth, which is China attacked our country Whoa. and stole our election from the American Whoa. people. Last two things. One, do you have voting machines in your possession somewhere? Two, yes, we do. You do. And how many of them? 
I don't know that. I don't know that. They, if they, uh, I have no idea. We're bringing. We're going to have. That's nothing. We're going to have at the cyber symposium. We're going to show you mock elections. We're going to have cy- random cyber people put in a soundproof room. We're going to capture the packets which are in the routers. Of course. That's why Arizona won't give up the routers. Strong that's routers. Yeah. Give, you know. Where so did you get the voting routers. machines? Where did you get them? I'm, I don't know. Lawyers got them. It, believe me, they were got legal. You can buy them on eBay. There. Okay. David, why don't you buy a couple? I don't know. Have any use for? Just, just buy a voting machine on eBay. Just buy a couple. Them, quite frankly. Last thing, uh, <laughs> my, my um, Frank speech. It was billed as it will be the new revolutionary social website. When I check it, it's just like a video of you talking. What's going on with that? Okay, so in terms of an actual debate in this section of the debate, you can go on David Pakman show uh, YouTube channel and watch the whole thing. It's it's almost a half an hour long, but I thought this clip was particularly entertaining and david pakman what he does here is basically just rope a dope with this guy where he's just saying okay it's just you know acting as if he's agreeing with him and just letting mike lindell just spew out this stew of word salad and nonsense i mean david pakman is just allowing the guy to show how unhinged he is and this guy selling his pillows or whatever who cares but the fact that this guy is as close as he is to donald trump is just terrifying for i mean i don't know how i don't know how this election is even close at all no matter what people think of kamala harris to just look at donald trump and just i mean he's a maniac And to see the maniacs that he's surrounded by, that guy like Mike Lindell would be able to get within a mile of the White House, let let alone being inside the White House, is insane. But what do you think about David Pakman in this interaction with Mike Lindell? And what do you think of this notion of divine intervention with Trump and that Donald Trump is God's chosen president? What is God doing right now while Joe Biden is in office? Why did he not allow Donald Trump to get a second term? Do you agree with Mike Lindell that it's like we have to have the good so we can appreciate the bad? Makes no sense to me why God wouldn't just put the best president in there all the time for our country and make things great all the time. I don't know why we'd have to have bad periods. But let me know in the comments what you think about that, what you think about David Pakman, what you think about Mike Lindell. I love to read your comments. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. It's growing very fast, growing quickly. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to help me to continue to grow more and to bring out more content like this. This is Chris on Culture. I will see you in the next video.